Well, in 2019, I had just come back from a trip to Israel where the Lord moved powerfully. I came to a Bible study at my church, and again, the spirit of prophecy came, and the Lord said to me that 2020 would be the beginning of a global reset. He said we would see an economic downturn like we had never seen before. Mm. And he told me that the days of Joseph would return, where we would see famine that would come in the future. But this reset would not just be a reset to the world, every single industry will be broken down in order to be rebuilt, including the church. And so this means that the church is about to step over into days of power, more anointing, and more glory. I believe that the gifts of the Spirit are going to intensify and we're going to experience true revival. I want to talk to those that are watching and you might be dealing with fear, a spirit of fear. I want you to know that there's no reason for us to panic or fear because God is is with us. That's right. Jesus Christ is here with us. And so I'm excited because of what I see coming. I'm not in panic because of the negative things. The Lord showed me that this will be the best of times in the worst of times. And this means that we can get excited because we were born for this hour. We're going to see some of the greatest miracles, some of the greatest breakthroughs. We're going to see the gospel go to areas that it's never gone to before. And so we should be rejoicing right now. So shake off the fear and step over into courage. And he said that it would be a decade of shortages throughout the 10 years. I was alarmed at this word, but I saw a vision open up to me. And in the vision, I walked into a grocery store and the shelves were completely empty. And I could tell it was in America. And that was the alarming mm -hmm. thing. And the Lord said to me, don't panic. He said, at that time, you will see multiplication miracles being released in the earth. So we're going to see the supernatural increase all over the world. And it's a part of this great revival and outpouring that's here and coming showed me that the economy would be shaken in America and the nations. And he said, don't panic. We're going to see a steep decline coming. But I saw the anointing of Joseph being released on individuals where we would not only survive the famine, we would begin to thrive in the midst of the famine. And so we will live under heaven's economy. We are not bound by the economy of this world. And so even in the spirit, I saw a Joseph's storehouse is being raised up all over the earth. And I'm not just talking about for natural food and resources. That's a part of it. But I saw these safe havens where uh, those that would come out of darkness would have a community that they can become a part of. And it would be the New Testament church ignited all over again. It's the book of Acts being stirred up. And the Lord has just given me the uh, the admonishment to pray and to cover our country and to cover the nations because it is the plan of the enemy uh, to pull us into a war. Uh, but I just believe that the protection of God is going to be there over our nation. Wow. But the Lord spoke to me concerning Israel that we would see an unusual glory come over Israel, over that nation. I saw those that are there in the nation open up to receive their Messiah. And so Jesus will reveal himself in new and unique ways to the people that are there. So get ready to experience uh, miraculous signs and wonders. Get ready to see an outpouring of revival come there uh, to Israel. Yeah, I actually gave a word about this. I saw where some of the rare, some of the cancers that we see today would become things of the past. And when the Lord spoke this to me, I was actually quite shaken by it because uh, I've never heard him speak a word like that to me. Mm -hmm. But he said that uh, some of the cancers that we see is going to be as easy as taking a pill. I saw uh, the medical field advance to that level where there's going to be a pill for some cancers that won't even be a problem. So the things that we're we're concerned about today, we may not even be concerned about them in two or three years. Joshua, what are you seeing on this set? 
right now, you know, as we've been talking, I can see the fire of the Holy Spirit going out into those that are watching into their homes. And the Lord says there's going to be angelic visitations. I see this flood. It's almost like a rush of angels that are going out into homes. And because the warfare has been so great against the body of Christ over the past couple of years, the Lord says, I'm going to send refreshing. I see waves of refreshing coming. There are people that are watching this now. They're dealing with sickness and infirmity, but I see the healing power of God coming right there in your home. There's someone that's dealing with severe back pain. I see it in the spine, but the Lord says he's healing them right now. There's another person that's dealing with arthritis and is so painful to you, but the Lord says be healed right now. So there are waves of healing that's flowing out into the homes of those that are watching. So just receive it. And we're going to continue to see waves of the glory, a uh, rush rushing through homes and communities. You won't even have to, where the Lord said that these are days of mega glory, where the glory is about to sweep throughout the globe. And I saw these creative miracles. I just came from a meeting where it's already started, where there was a lady in the meeting that came in with a tumor the size of a grapefruit. And the Lord gave me a word of knowledge. I had no idea. And instantly the tumor dissolved in the presence of God. And the Lord says, that's the way I'm going to move. And it's not going to be uh, just on people that have titles and preachers. This is getting ready to be a body movement where it's going to be the average ordinary believer is about to pick up an assignment to move in healing and in miracles confirming the words of Joshua pray. Father, we just pray right now for every individual that's watching, every person that's listening. I pray that you would unlock the prophetic destiny that's been hidden on the inside of your people. I'm praying that they would experience outpours of revival right in their home. Father, I'm praying for their families, that you would break generational curses and release generational blessings now. Let sons and daughters return. Let the prodigals come home. Father, I'm praying even now that you you would give wisdom for us to deal with the days that are ahead, wisdom to deal with the economy, wisdom to deal with the future, Father, so that we would not just survive the future, but we would thrive in the midst of it. So let your mega glory, let the fire of the Holy Spirit be released now on everyone that's watching. In Jesus' name, amen.